your textbook example 15.13 so this is uh including some application uh of the previous section in part b part a is what we learned just now about finding the uh, point of intersection of two straight line so uh to find out they say p is the point of intersection so we just find out p by solving the simultaneous equation of l1 and l2 fulfill the first line requirement at the same time fulfill the second line requirement here and then i just design to times two on both sides in the second equation to create two y therefore it's become 16x minus 2y plus 22 equal to 0 times 2, 0. If I find exactly the same term, then I can remove them by subtraction. So 7x minus 16x, negative 2y minus negative 2y becomes 0, disappear. And then positive 4 minus 22 equal to 0 minus 0. So in this equation, only one unknown is left. Then we can handle it like what we learned in primary school. Both sides divide by negative 9, so we get negative 2. x is negative 2. We finish half, and then we try to get y afterward. Since we already know it's fulfilled the first requirement, so I just copy down the information and update the value of x then we get the coordinates of p is x equal to negative 2 y equal to negative 5 we finish part a in part b they say there is another line so another straight line pass through P and perpendicular to L4. So it's no longer be, uh, related to L1 and L2. You don't need to sketch a graph related to them. We just focus on this. What they say pass through P. They mean in a graph, point P is approximate here, pass through this point. And then perpendicular to the given line here. Now the question is we have to know how does this graph look like so that we know the perpendicular line how does it look like. So in order to do so is they try to give us the slope of L3. The strategy is since L3 perpendicular to L4 so remember that the slope 3 times slope of L4 is equal to negative 1. We want to know the slope of L3, M3 here. But however, they try to imply, give us the slope of L4. So we can chase it back. That's why we are going to solve the slope of L4 now. You may use the formula that we learned uh, in the previous section, or uh, you may just get used to change it to slope intercept form. Make Y be the subjects. So I can easily sketch this graph now. The y-intercept, when x is 0, the y-intercept is 2 over 5, approximate here. And then the slope is going up slowly, 1 over 5. Every 5 step go to right will go up by 1 step. That's the meaning of 1 over 5 slope. And then we are going to find a line which is perpendicular to L4 and then pass through here so that means from this point go straight to l4 l3 should be the red line here we already find out the slope of l4 is 1 over 5 so i replace it m3 times 1 over 5 is equal to negative 1 so the slope of L3 is negative 5. It's going down quite quickly, which is consistent here. Finally, we need to get the equation of L4, the red line. So for L4, 
Don't forget it. Slope equal to slope is always the constraint for straight line. There is a general point x y, and then left hand side in terms of x and y, we have y minus negative five over x minus negative two. Right hand side, the slope which is implied by the information here, we already trace it back. The slope is negative five. So that's the equation of L4. The following, we just need to tidy up and make it like certain format. In case that I express in terms of general form, it's more convenient for us to check the answer. 5x positive y and then plus 15 is equal to 0. So this is equation of L4 in general form. Remember, uh, the graph to let you know the approximate position or what we are doing, I think it's very good to clear your mind. And uh, through practice, if even if it is not us, but if you sketch the graph by using slope intercept form, uh, it gives you a more solid understanding about the coordinate plane and what we are doing here.